opening stream. Then if you uh, you can see me with the fish head over my face, hydrate for Pete. This is a uh, rather fetching hat and wig combo. This is Mrs. MLG's hat and uh, bright pink wig uh, for Jester. Thanks, Jester. And um, let's say hello to everybody. So, hi Pete, hi Tony, hi Sharon, hi Jay. Thank you for the hat and wig combination. You look like a cavalier. Yes, <laughs> yes, it does look. I did think when I was picking hi, them out with a uh, thing, I did think that it might look a little flamboyant. Ah, I don't know if it wasn't here. What's happened to Pando? Uh, he's had, had a change. Yeah. Uh, he's now a bulldog. Uh, we had a little he, poll. He was ready and, to evolve. Uh, and, and changed from alien to bulldog. He uh, slops his food around and everything. Hey, we could be. Good evening, all. Hi, 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 hi. So, uh, you're planning on actually finishing some miniatures today, aren't you, my dear? Uh, I am. I am. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do sort the base out on this uh, wizard. I'm just in the process of uh, greying it up now. Might need you, unless you've got them handy, because I did see them on the table the other day. Might need you to go and get me the tufts out of the kitchen because I've forgotten to bring those. I only have tiny dry green mm. two millimeter. No, no, I want, I want the uh, moss. Mm, well, um, well, dark, you should have just said that. Dark moss two millimeter. Um, but we'll worry about that when we get to it. So. Vicky D says, "Ooh, a musketeer! I see. Yeah, you dog Tanya." Yeah. <laughs> While I was looking for something to watch last night, the fourth musketeer came up on the uh, thing, and I can't remember if that's a film that I've seen before or, or not. Because there, cause there has been a couple of bad musketeers movies over the years, hasn't there? So, base for our little wizard. I, I varnished him earlier on uh, today, so because I didn't want to handle him uh, to paint his base, to do his base, until I had vanished him. So I vanished him earlier on. Uh, just done his base with Reaper Stone Grey, because that's the way I like to do it. Uh, I also vanished Demogorgon. Used the, uh, both of the miniatures. I used Green Stuff World Max Matte Varnish, which uh, it was an excellent finish, so done Demogorgon with that as well. Also fully varnished. Now the Demogorgon uh, is a little top heavy, so he's going to have to face into the corner like he's being naughty so he doesn't fall over. But uh, here's Demogorgon's base, and Demogorgon's base is not behaving. Not behaving uh, at all. So what happened, uh, this morning I woke up and it had split again, even more. So I painted it... Uh, with some purple uh, contrast paint and I've painted it with some Leviathan purple wash and then I came to it just before the stream and it split again so you could see white through it and I've done everything that I should have done and it's still the same so now I've put some old school uh, hex pot GW magenta ink over it which is why it's got this nice kind of blood color to it uh, Sharon says, now that purple looks red. Yeah. Because it is now. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is when this dries, which it hopefully will do throughout the process of the stream, is I'm going to uh, I'm going to do a little bit of dry brushing across the surface of this to change the uh, the overall surface color of the base and leave this nice kind of like ready purple um, in the recesses, which should look pretty good. Hopefully, fingers crossed, and then we'll get Demogorgon sat on it, and everything will be good. Let's hope. So, uh, what I'm doing in the meantime, so I've just done grey on his base. I've got a couple of other minis here that also need their bases sorting out. So I'm just going to do those uh, while we're... Yeah, Koronoko, but... So, funnily enough... There isn't actually, it's not a molded base. So this is a uh, this is a GW oval base. I don't know what's going on with it really. This We're having like a bit of an issue. 
So it's a GW oval base, normal plain flat base, and it previously had one of Mrs. MLG's dragons sat on it, and then she peeled it off the base so she could use it in a diorama. And this base has been languishing in the drawer uh, ever since until I decided to use it. Now, it had had, and the little bit of like rough texture that you might see around the edges still, was some Astro Granite uh, GW basing texture, which has been set for probably a year. But it had some big holes in, so I knew that if I was going to reuse this base for Demogorgon, I would need to do something with it. So I got some of the Vallejo basing texture, just the plain white pumice stuff that I've used many times before, and blathered it all over, and then it had like three or four days to dry over there. Where's everyone gone? We had loads of viewers a minute ago, and now they've all disappeared. I'm obviously too boring. The... Um, so yeah, I had like three or four days to dry over the weekend, didn't do anything to it. And then, uh, I put the uh, Mordant Earth over it. So I painted it purple, then I PVA'd it once that had had a day to dry. And then after that had dried, I put the Mordant Earth on the following morning. And then it's just split and keeps showing white up through and uh, has done twice now when I've tried to paint other stuff over the top of it. So hopefully, with this magenta ink, it's going to work. We'll see. Hey, we'll see. We'll, says, we'll see. I blame the gremlins. I blame the gremlins too. So, There's definitely something weird going on. <laughs> with all of the lovely treats that everybody has been giving Pando, Pando has levelled up to level 30. So Ooh. are we all watching Pando? So Pando level 1... Uh, looks like that. That's Pando, that's Pando Bulldog at, uh, at level one. Uh, we currently have Pando at uh, level 15, but he has today, today raised to the ranks of level 30. So Pando now looks like this with a white chest, which to be fair, I like better. Yeah. Um, Cool. So there you go, that's Pando. Yeah, I thought Pando he was going to get now. bigger or something. No, no, they don't get bigger, they just change colour. So there you go. I don't, I don't like, like the next one, it's like a weird beige colour. So, so, But when we, we get, get to level 45, then we'll have to uh, yeah, see what that looks like. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Currently, level 30 Pando, everybody. Yay, level Pando. Now yeah, I've realised that I have to change, change it myself. myself. I've just been waiting for it. <laughs> waiting yeah, yeah, to change waiting it for it to look, right. Like some magic. Yeah. Like, like on a computer game, game where you get like little sparkles above your head or something when you've got a level up to do. Yeah, I think I think I was giving you know. I was expecting far too much of a little extension. <laughs> extension. <laughs> a free hydrate. Yeah. yeah. Pete, Pete said awesome. uh, hydrate. I think I did it. I'll do another one. What's I do. I do need. This sword. is a uh, little spell effect sword. That's that magic. I, uh, that it is magic. You're right. That I painted a little while ago, uh, and it hasn't had its base done. So while we're doing basing colours, thought we might as well get his uh, get its base done as well. And similarly, uh, I've got my snake men here. snake men to do their bases as well now then i thought you were doing what brass i'm going to paint some of the brass scorpion oh. okay. it's not going to take long to do these all right uh so i apologize for being full of cold and probably sounding like i'm trying to talk through my nose that is not purposeful Hope, uh, hope none of you get afflicted by the lurgy. I think, I think you'll be safe down the line. Some of it, well, yeah, I know, but like, it's going around, isn't it? That's the thing. It's, uh, it's in the air. Um, what was I going to say? I don't know. Let's get that little rock in there in between I've these added coils. Been a new Reapercon miniatures. Yeah, have you got them all on? 
the old um uh, all of the miniatures are on there are just other things to add but i haven't added the wet palette uh, and, all, and the merchandise bits but all of, all of the minis are on cool so far as far as i know unless there's one i really bought in the box but i'm fairly sure there isn't <laughs> And Wikidee says, yes, yes, there are loads of people full of coals at the minute. And, and it is just a cold, everybody has done a test. It is, it is just because he's got a cold. Um, we've all got a cold. But <clears throat> Nathan's obviously suffering for that one. <laughs> he sounds worse for a start. Yeah. <laughs> That's just so you can have extra sympathy. Yeah. It's because I've been working so hard this month and I haven't really had that much time off have I so I'm obviously run down eager to uh, or easier to get afflicted John says that's why he still wears a mask when he's out that's why I don't go out John <laughs> don't go anywhere uh, is there any reaper complaints to go up yes I haven't done the paint yet um, there is uh, two triads and the speedy painty thing but I can't remember go super washes Yeah. They're here, they're here. In my hand. In, in my, my hand, hand, in my hand. hand. I have Recon VIP triad, triad and Swagbox Triad. I can't actually see what colours they're in, which is really unhelpful. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But I need, there's those two. And then, and then there's these things. <coughs> Pokemon. I've heard of a dove trio. That's the three little moly brown things. It is. And then, and then these, whatever, They're super, super washes. I've just picked, picked up, up blood kiss red, red, which sounds, sounds, sounds like, like a, a colour that I should uh, be using. So, so yeah, yeah, so there you go. go. So, so Nathan's showing them off. Look at these, and got these. We haven't yeah, had blood, a play blood, yet. Blood kissed red. First one out. What else have we got? Emerald green. This is our set. <laughs> what do you do? What's the, what's the VIP trial? With the green, the pink and the spectrally, spectrally lily. Lily. Platypus something or other. Platypus something. Oh, what's that? I can't see what this go. When do they go up? When I've got a minute, Kona. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hopefully tomorrow. Uh, hopefully yeah. we'll get get around to the paints uh, tomorrow. I was doing. Yeah, you can uh, do paints before you do anything else, couldn't you? Yes, I mean I, they, oh. they are in the box. I just I did the minis first today. Did the minis first. Did the minis first. Um, okay. And then obviously school run gets in the way. Ugh. Yeah. And cuts That's my it. day in half. How very dare it. <laughs> Here we go, I won't be able to say any of these words. So, key slime pie, uh, platypus teal, and amaryllis pink, apparently, are the VIP triads. I don't know how you, how you say those properly, but yeah, that's the one that we could do, right? So there you, there you go, that's what's in them, and they'll be, they'll be going on, hopefully, tomorrow, unless something happens. Oh, look, we won the dub trio, yay! Yay! Pete says, I need to win the lottery. I need to win the lottery, Pete. Um, and then maybe we could have a day off. Yeah. M maybe. I'd, I'd like to win the lottery <laughs> and, uh, and retire. And then... Hey, Dan. We'll, we'll just, like, drop in to the shop every once in a while and make sure that everything's going fine. That would, that would never happen. <laughs> that would never happen because, it, you know, you have, you have to be there to make the staff work. Uh, J Star would love to win the lottery. I don't do the lottery. We, we, no. we, our household does not do the lottery. So really, we've got no hope of winning it at all. But but it would be nice if just some, you know, one of those scam emails maybe one day was was real, yeah, and, and a prince from a far off land had found a box of gold and just wanted to give it me, random person on the internet. I've, I've had two of those today. Isn't that what David's for? No, because they don't really work, do they, Dan? They're all lazy. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so we have to we have to do all the work. We have to do all the work, and we get paid less than any of them. 
So so we really need to win the lottery just just to buy a tin of beans for tea. <laughs> John's using the uh, okay, we'll get beans. Yeah, we can't get them. Yeah, the supermarket didn't have any beans left. Don't know what's going on. Just the stupid sugar-free beans, and nobody wants them. <laughs> yeah, sugar-free. We tried them. We tried to be good, but they were horrible. And I don't even like bean juice. I just uh, I use the slotted spoon to get rid of the juice. This is a thrilling, it is. thrilling it's, conversation. It's a, it's an in-depth. Uh, expose into, into the into lives of the energy. lives of ga gaming shop owners who really uh, are quite poor. <laughs> uh, Jerry Star says, "I often get emails from Nigeria. I know, I know, they're, they're always so convincing, aren't they, with their boxes of free gold that they just happen to be giving yeah. away." Um, I got one from a random baggage handler today. Random? Oh, what's that? That was telling me that he's a baggage handler and he'd found a suitcase that had $8.4 million oh, in it. Oh, that and, was kind of him to and, contact you and not just take it for himself. Yeah, and he, and, uh, yeah so he works at an airport in um, America and obviously he's, he's decided to contact me. Random man on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> Drop your paint under your chair. Drop your paint under your chair. Oh, if only that was true, Jason. <laughs> that was true. And I could maybe pay myself. But yes, yeah, all those wonderful, uh, wonderful scam emails of all that money just hanging around, waiting for us to, to claim it. Um, yeah, so that, that'd be nice. But yes, so new Reaper stuff uh, is on the website. There is more to go on, more um, like merchandise type things and these paints. I put the dice on, there was one packet of dice, and there's a wet palette as well. Uh, to go on. Is that everything that's new? We've got anything else new? Uh, we've got new stuff in the uh, in the car that I haven't got out yet. Alright, what's that? One? That's the uh, stuff that we got from... Oh, the homeware? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the more homewares, more homewares. There's not yeah. actually that much new stuff. Uh, no, I don't think so. There's some some restocks of yeah. the very popular skull goblets. That's because the skull goblets are awesome. Um, and, the, and there's some pens that you really didn't want, but I just thought they were really cute. So now we've yes. got random pens, and you're like, oh, dear me. Yeah, we uh, yeah. whole whole conversations about whether we've actually got space for any more homewares, or whether we're renting the shop over the road for. No. Halloween homeware. You're so spooktacular. Funny. He did say to me, right, so we, we need some restocks, but we can't have anything new because there's no room. Um, yeah, oops. <laughs> that was very good because there was loads of other stuff that I wanted that we didn't get. Yeah, yeah. So, so you know, com compromising yep. and, and stuff. Yeah, we managed to it's, uh, it's not like, get everything. It's not just Halloween homeware, it's, it's, it's homeware for life. Oh yeah, um, so it's fine. It's fine. I, I just want to make. I just want to make you happy. <laughs> no, we can't afford another shop. The government's just said something about um, help for businesses with um, electricity prices. Have they? Yeah, but I. Cool. We probably won't qualify like no, no. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, ours <laughs> we is, tend to not qualify for our, stuff. Ours is fixed, so we probably yeah. won't qualify. Yeah, we probably won't. We could do with something at the house, that's not fixed. Yeah. Emma's idea of the Halloween stuff was actually a smart business move. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anybody think I own a business? It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Don't, don't worry, folks. Dan knows me. Dan knows that I am very sarcastic. He, he, that, won't, he won't cry. It's okay. You'll pay less tax if you're lucky, says Jason. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for this. Uh, just going to see what they say. Anyway. I'm waiting for the budget announcement, mini budget thing on uh, Friday. See what the crack is. I'm not getting, uh, not getting myself excited until I actually uh, see the proper thing. What are you doing now? What are you painting? What are you doing? What are you painting? What are you doing? Uh, well, while I wait oh, for... Sorry, that's my fault. Just order the minis. Pretty sure the paints will take me over the free postage. Yeah, it's nice that free postage, isn't it? It's nice. Oh, we were talking about the trailer. 
I was talking about the trailer with um, with my friend last night because we were talking about the, the van. The car and the van are both due for MOT. The car has just said it's MOT and the van is there as we speak. And my friend said, why don't you just get that ca like trailer caravan thing again? And I uh. said, well, because it was falling to bits, so it wasn't safe. Uh, and he's like, yeah, but it was like, you know, interesting. He's like, yes, it was it served its purpose, didn't it? it? Served its purpose. We could just have one, couldn't we, Dan? Just like a Halloween um, homeware trailer tour, touring the country, just stopping off at random markets, selling stuff. Do you think yeah. that'd work? <laughs> the producers, oh yeah, they are look, looking at cutting stamp duty. Again, not the stamp duty again. They need to do something to help people buy houses, don't they? Oh well, yeah, because everybody's mortgage is going to get a yeah. whole load more expensive if the interest rate goes up three quarters of a percent, or whatever it is. Yeah. No, don't want to get. Oh, don't encourage me, Dan. Don't want to get into. Uh, yeah, we're going to talk about poli painting. Yeah, I don't want to get into politics. We're going to yeah. talk about. We're going to talk about painting. We're going to talk we're about gonna, painting. We're going to wait to uh, wait <laughs> to see what happens on Friday. Anyway, painting. Yeah, so this is uh, one of my favourite colours that I'm painting here. Not just any red, Ferrari red from uh, Vallejo. This is a model air colour, uh, but I really like it. It's a brush paint. It's really nice and smooth and covers nicely. And I'm hoping that this will just give my little bit of uh, rusty red here a little bit more luster before we varnish. And I'm thinking of going with a satin varnish. I don't want it to be too shiny. <laughs> Karen Oka says, OMG, you're painting the brush scarfy thing. Yeah, four years on. Four years on, we might get one leg panel finished. Yeah. I've been uh, I've been doing a little bit of work on it this week, Karen Oka. Started on uh, Sunday, I think. Doing a bit. Uh, yeah, I was... Actually, I did say that I was going to paint the uh, the bodies that were like nestled in the cabling, didn't I? This evening. Although I need to, I do need to finish this red, which would probably take the whole hour. Because I thought it was just an urban legend, <laughs> and Dan's been making emotes of mm. people partying by the looks of it. I'm not quite sure what the guy with the gingery beard's holding there. I'm not quite sure. I want to know Dan. <laughs> Hey, chicken, chicken hot dog. What's an urban legend? The, the the brass scorpion, whether it actually existed. He needed dusting before he could paint, it, carry on painting it. It'd been in the cupboard safely on its own shelf and everything. I'm just going to do this square and then we're going to wait for it to dry and make sure it looks as I want it to. Might have to have a termination of sound in a minute. That's right, Red. He has. He's got man flu. But we're still here. We're still here. We're still... Uh, battling through. Still battling through. Yeah, there we go. Right. You'll have to bear with me a moment while I go and uh, just clear my sinuses a second. Hydrate. Does that say Congo? Corgo. Corgo one. Mm -hmm. I think they're thing in the John, so John the Templar's put the little corgi emote things in, but in the other bit on the side of the screen over there, it just says Corgo one, Corgo one, Corgo one. Right, back in a second. Are you actually leaving the building? No, yeah, I'm just gonna go over here for some
Yeah. Oh, sorry about that, guys. That was like Olympic level nose blowing, I'm afraid. <laughs> you don't need to know the details. Right then, so that red's looking much better. I don't know if you can see the difference. Between, I think you can see the difference between this red and this red. And this red is much more the red that I am looking for uh, against the gold. It's looking uh, looking good. Cool. I'm like me, Bob Ross, next to each other. That's that's pretty cool. You know, I'm quite happy. Wicked D. Not sure if I like what I've done with my cobras. Yeah. Don't know. What are you painting? Oh, what, are you, what are you doing, Wicked D? Cobras. Cool. Right. I'm going to uh, finish this claw before we uh, move back to the bases. They should have dried by the time I finish this one. Thank you, Kuranoko. Thank you. So, what uh, what has everybody been up to today? Everybody just been working. Wow, Pokemon in chat, everyone. I saw uh, Red Snail's comment about the vodka. I had some rum last night, which did help me sleep. Nah, I noticed it. I thought, ooh, what's this glass here? Looks yeah. like a rum glass. Did you yes. have some cracking? Yes. Yeah. I had some rum. Certainly helped me sleep. So, uh, I don't know whether I was snoring like a foghorn, because I was asleep, obviously. But was it was I snoring loudly, my darling? You always snore loudly, sweetie pie. Mm. Wikidee's put a picture on Discord. Dan says, I built a new deck. I'd like to get it tested as I think it's gonna suck. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, I uh... if you built it. If it is, that, is that like, you think it's gonna be rubbish or is that? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, Sharon's worked and painted lots of mimics of it. And they look very, very spiffy. I, I've got an idea for a new deck, Dan. I've got an idea for a new deck um, for uh, for Pioneer that I need to spend a few minutes pulling some cards to uh, to get into an operational mode. Mono white flyers. It's not mono white flyers. It's uh, it's. A green white soldiers. <laughs> Red, Red's got a cold too. <laughs> That's lovely, Red. That's absolutely <laughs> delightful. Because as I painted my goblin inspiration dragon, I was liking him until my friend said that he looks like a reverse pumpkin. Yeah. Yeah, why? Well, why does he look like a reverse pumpkin? Wedding announcement is the card for you, says Dan. Yeah, um, I looked at wedding announcement, I think, and uh, I decided that there was something else that I preferred. Um, You're just trying to let you know all your secrets. Yeah. No, wedding announcement, I think, is a, a decent card. If it's the one I, uh, the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, I think I think I did look at that. <laughs> I think you do, I think you're about eleven years too late there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
I know. Damn. <laughs> I forget that people can't hear you. So, uh, the idea with this is get the red. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the red on this one claw, and then, uh, and then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna finish these bases, and then. Or move on to the next stage of the bases and then we're going to pick up the brass scorpion and we're going to look at doing some of the fleshy human -y bits that are stuck in the cabling around the bottom of the beast because I've already done a lot of the metal work on it just need to do some of the other refinements and then get this get this red right because when I go and look at the uh, the ones that they've got in the cabinets at Warhammer World I realize how uh, cool the red looks on theirs. Now I'm never going to be able to do the kind of weird tortoise shell effectness that they've got on the one in uh, in the Forge World shop but I do want to make it look like it's a nice gleaming surface. I've just noticed randomly that you can see my shadow behind you and if I wave it you can see me waving behind you. <laughs> it's good to be pointing that out. Somebody might have thought that we had a ghost. Well, yeah. You know. Thank you, John. Um, a divorce party, says Pete. Went, went out for um, somebody celebrating their divorce quite recently. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then says, I think the deck I made is all right. Just think it's going to get blown out a little easily. What deck? Card, record, poop flight, says J Star. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the deck. Don't know what you're talking about, Jay. They're talking about Magic the Gathering. Yeah. Not quite sure what you're talking about. Oh, poop, poop and flight are types of deck. Ah, what about card and record? Uh, record deck, card yeah. deck. Yeah, yeah. yeah, poop deck. Ah, we see, we see. Yes, I am. I'm a ghost. I don't know why. It's never normally. It's never normally there. You can see my hand now. Woo! This, this is how close I am to him. Woo! Just here! Mm. <laughs> oh, there's no hope. There's no hope. Right. Go put that away. Panda says, How is everyone? Oh, Panda's asking the big questions there. Ant and deck. Oh, dear, Dan. Uh, you can just dab on some really thinned orange to get a blotchy marbled effect. Mm. It's taken four years just to put a layer of red on. <laughs> so come on, what, what, what's happening? What are you doing? And um, Pete says, I do. What's happening? Uh, what's happening now is I'm going to get my trusty Null Noil Agraxer Shade Mix and uh, cover these grey bases in it before we move on to anything else with the brass scorpion and then that can be drying so we can do finishing before the end of the stream on some actual bases that'd be nice who's gonna win out of Pando and John? John's gone for scissors in rock paper scissors yeah. what's Pando gonna go for? I predict a draw Pando was won! With rock versus scissors, and he's now barking his head off. Woof, 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 woof. That's my panda impression, everybody. Panda one, she thinks, complete fix, John. It is definitely. And then, a fix. And then Tony's spelling like, good boy, good boy for winning, good boy. Yeah, it's absolutely one million percent a uh, yeah. fix. Right then. That's, that's Wizard's bit of bass done. Let's get, uh, get these snake men sorted dead quick. And we can get on to painting some brass scorpion mess. Your wizard looks really, really good. You can't see it uh, because of the lights of the camera, but it looks really good. Hopefully, when you photograph it for me, because you're better, then uh, you might be able to make more <laughs> good look for it. Because you're, you're the best. We've got a new photo backdrop 
don't we? I don't really think it goes with the wizard though. No. I just think about <laughs> No. Has, uh, has anybody, does anybody keep up with GW's uh, latest stuff? So on the pre-order for release this weekend, we've got the Leagues of Vatan, the, uh, the reimagining of squats and uh, from back in day of, uh, of Warhammer 40,000. And there's been uh, posts flying around on social media today saying that the, uh, the new book is already banned for tournaments in certain parts of the world because the p people who've been playtesting the new rules for a few weeks have decided that it's so busted uh, and overpowered that it wouldn't be fair to allow people to use it. <laughs> Which is, uh, is pretty wild. It's not, not even been released yet. And uh, people are already saying it's too good. What's your, uh, what's everybody's thoughts on such a thing happening? It's already already been deemed too powerful and needs FAQs. Personal says, I had a fun day today at work talking to myself as a third person. Just now wondering how I was number two. I'm not a prisoner. Man. <laughs> so he says, next time I come to NLG, I might bring Millie with me. It's like Turner and Hooch gone wrong. <laughs> yeah, bring uh, bring Millie with you. Dog pups are allowed in the uh, in the shop. Dogs are welcome. Uh, John says, sounds about right for GW. And then John Oka says, but isn't that always the case with new armies? And Joe says, poor GW. Mm. Yeah. Who uh, who likes the look of the new the new squats the the Votan? I'm not struck on them myself. There is there is one mini in the range that I like the look of, which is the like sorcery uh, spellcaster looking guy, and I think that he would make a uh, with a little bit of conversion work would make an awesome looking dwarf uh, warlock. Or a fantasy setting is uh, is hooded. I, uh, I tried to find a picture of it this morning and couldn't, but it, I've definitely seen it on one of the community articles. But he's uh, he's like summoning stones underneath him as he's like walking into the sky. It looks really cool. Yeah, um, Kurinoko says I like the ones that were done as turtles. So someone's photoshopped the picture like a, a picture of all the new models and done them so that their armor makes them look like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and uh, and the vehicle looks because it's got like multiple wheels and stuff looks like the uh, uh, Turtles party bus thing and stuff it looks uh, it looks pretty cool Another turtle made it to the water. Yeah, oh, those turtles have been a while getting uh, saved. Been a while oh, since we had that one. It's um, all the masks and nunchucks and pieces getting in the way. You see, that's what it is. <laughs> I saw a thing the other day that said like, why why do the ninja turtles wear masks when they're massive, great big turtles? It's not like they're really hiding their identity, are they? Oh, I wonder who that could be. <laughs> yeah. Tony says, I like the hassle-free space dwarves. Yeah, I like the old biker-style squats. Yeah, I like the old biker-style squats. It's uh, a little bit of a departure from the style I liked, these new ones. And, uh, and I think they've, they've tried to make them a totally new faction, haven't they? And I'm not sure that I like it. But uh, that's only because I can remember original squats. I think. Thought I'd, uh, thought I'd missed a bit on the demigorgon. I could just see a little white spot, but it was just a bit of fluff. That's all right. Right, so we're going to go back to the brass scorpion while these things dry. John says, do you want to talk about the hidden identity of Superman? Glasses? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, yeah come on. I don't, I don't think, think you're getting it right. You're for six o'clock, can't you? Wear the glasses. Superman didn't wear glasses. Yeah, Su- yeah. Superman didn't wear glasses. No. Can't, can't possibly be. Uh, can't possibly be Superman. Uh, Clark Kent, even though they bear a bit of facial similarity. Uh, so here we go. Brass scorpion. It exists. Rawr. <coughs> pew, pew, pew. <coughs> so this is where we're up to so far. So these chunks here are where the big um, armor plates fasten on. Oh, that one goes. Uh, that one goes there. Yeah, oh, we. Um, Tony says that he likes the Atlantis dwarves and elves. We we like the Atlantis minis uh, stuff um, a lot, and we wanted to get it in the shop, and then they just they just didn't talk to us. <laughs> they just didn't talk to us. They sent us like order forms and things, and then and then did what they asked. And, and and yeah, and then so we sent them an order, and we said like we'd like all this stuff, and they were like, all oh, right, cool, yeah, we'll we'll get all that sorted, and we'll sort it out for you, and then they just ignored us. <laughs> just ignored us. We tried ringing them up and they don't answer the phone. <laughs> we, we thought they'd gone out of business at one point, but. Red has got a very, very good point. What's that? Oh, well, Superman can't wear glasses because yeah. he's not on these layers. There's a Pokemon in chat, everybody. Yeah, awesome. Sharon says, oh, it's a cool model and big. Yeah, that, that bit goes on the top there. As you're viewing it from the top down, just to put that bit on and try and make it look a little bit more interesting. Oh, I yeah, just get sorted. I need to find a paint colour. So underneath, if I show you what I'm going to do. So underneath and in the crevices here, there are the bodies of people that are like mixed into all this cabling stuff. So there's a guy here clutching his head with a cable coming out of his mouth and like this guy here looking all sad. Now I painted them. <laughs> Did you seriously just say about that dead body, this guy? Looking all sad. Yeah, yeah, I did, yeah. And, th- and this guy in here that's like all kind of like meshed into the cabling and what have you. Now I painted them purple because I wanted them to kind of stand out amongst all this dark cabling. But um, I don't really like the purple. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna bring them back to a kind of pale flesh colour. think so on my desk here I think have I still got it we have a we have a, like a pale lilac kind of colour I'll put it away can't do it it's all wrong I had a I had a paint colour on here that was like a ashy violet kind of colour you know uh, I can't remember. Is it, what, milk, was it? Yeah, some something like that. It was a Reaper paint, but it was that kind of colour. Well, Sorry, Mrs. MLG is just finding. Uh... I've only got pink fashion rose. Yeah, that's it. That's the boy. Shortly after, they started training under Blue Giant. I wonder if that might have been something to do. With... Ah, maybe. Maybe they were going through transition and just didn't want to tell us about it. So we're going to go with some Ashen Rose. Sharon says, add some skin tone to keep the purple in the shadows so they look like corpses. That is my plan. That is my plan. Kraken purple. Now we've got some uh, we've got some Ashen Rose, which is kind of like a pinky colour. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it with a little bit of purple to start off with. And then, and then go with this um, to lighten it up. But it doesn't need to be very dark purple because... They're, they're kind of like washy already. So, my, uh, my palette's looking a little bit choked with different stuff on at the moment. But we shall get there. No, 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 it's fine. But I've uh, got more than enough room here to do what we need to do. So get some of that over there. My problem with the wet palette is I squeeze too much paint out onto it. I know you're only supposed to use like tiny little bits out there. Really. So I always, uh, I always go too mad, get too much stuff going on. 
Kurunoko. Ooh, Ashen Rose is a lovely colour. I'm using it as the base for my Infinity Minis. It's my super glue. It's the only super glue. It's not yours. <laughs> it's the only super glue. You've got some army paper oh, one in the take, cupboard. Everyone take cover. Red's gonna sneeze. No, because you broke my army paper. This is the only one there is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Moxie. <laughs> it's like, break up the argument about super glue with metal guy playing his guitar. Yeah. It's very kind of you. Thank you very much. Thanks, Moxie. No, you made me smile. I'm <laughs> not guilty. Right. I can't get a, like really good cold because I'll lose my voice, and then how am I going to nag it? <laughs> Almost like I did on purpose. Almost. I just see the glue pinned into my finger. Uh, new addition, late, latest addition to me. Pin. Yeah. You haven't got very long to complete this task. Well, oh, no, I haven't. No, you haven't. Uh, is it what day is it? Wednesday? Is, are you streaming Wicked Day tonight? Uh, I'm planning to use some Wonka Violet for my October brush off. It's such a good name. How could I not use it? Yeah. Yeah, sister. All right. I was just typing, don't give your lurgy to this is NLG, she will lose her voice. <laughs> See? It's because I do. Uh, and it is. Wonka Violet. I, uh, I haven't done anything with brains yet for uh, Goblin Spray. So you would have done brain in the jail. Oh, yeah, but I'm, you you yeah, I haven't really got a use for it. I, I've done that. There's, there's three more zombies here. Yeah, I, mean, I could do it. I could do a zombie. zombie. Are these Reaper zombies? Yes. And then you'd be able to have it as a monster for the old RCL. Yeah, I might, uh, I might have to do a zombie. Have you done the little girl with the teddy bear zombie? No. There's a, there's a guy with a lollipop. A traffic sign of some description. He's obviously on a, on a stag do and he's nicked yeah. a traffic sign from somewhere. Uh, a little girl in her pyjamas with her teddy bear and she just, she's got the evilest grin. I don't think she is a zombie. She's got bunny rabbit slippers on. I think she's just a git. And, and then um, an old guy in a hat with some goggles, maybe like a mechanic or something. Yeah. Those are your options. I, think I hope that that's painted a vivid picture for you all of what's on my desk. I think I might. It could I be like a face of it. It could be like if you were like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I might do, uh, might do little girl with a teddy bear zombie. With her bunny, fluffy bunny slippers. That might be uh, a good project for Monday's stream. I, uh... I took the easy option, I'm afraid, and just used some contrast paint on them. That's fine, it's not cheating, it's just I a different know. technique. No one even uttered the word cheating. No. <laughs> well, you said it was the easy option. It was the easy option, I didn't say it was cheating. Uh, but I, was, I kept on asking Reaper to name a purple graph. No, oh, what's that? I can't say that. Gratitious Vilus. Gratitious violets, but they kept on ignoring me. And Tony says, I have a creepy little girl git with a bloodied knife. She's in my creepy house. She sure is. Yeah, is it, it's uh, the Alice, isn't it? Little Alice uh, mini. Who the is Alice? Yeah. Shh, shh, shh. It was, uh, it was cool. Everything you do is cool, though, tell me. This sword's looking absolutely atrocious. Really not. Really making a terrible job of this guy. You'll have to strip him, paint strip him and do him again. I don't think Made so. a demon on one of them online figure makers with bunny slippers. Just printed it out. Yeah. <laughs> um... I always think it's funny because it reminds me of, of Buffy. What do you mean? Because 
the the demon in Buffy says that bunnies are evil. Oh yeah. Those wires look amazing. This weekend geek. This is when he goes. I I don't know why yet. Yeah. <laughs> I did, yeah, I did. I have spent quite a bit of time I know, I know. on uh, on some of the bits of this mini. To be fair, four years to be precise. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a long, long project. It was a long time for you to convince me to buy it in the first place. Yeah, and even longer now to be painting it. You know, and I did say that once I'd finished this, that I was going to do the the big bloodthirster that's in the cabinet at the shop. But then I have yeah, also got. Massive. I have also got a couple of other demon engines that I haven't built yet in the kitchen cupboard. Yes, that's right, in the kitchen cupboard, because uh, my mini collection goes all the way through the house. We have uh, have some floor to ceiling cupboards in our kitchen. One for uh, one for my junk, one for little Mrs. Uh, craft stuff, and one for Mrs. MLG's sewing stuff. And in my my one is just junk and basin material and tufts and stuff that now we all use. And uh, in there I've got some other birthday presents and Christmas presents from Mrs. MLG that I haven't started yet because I haven't finished this thing. And we've got a blood slaughterer, which is an awesome looking uh, thing. We've got a now that. What's it called? Got one that's based on a Lord of Skulls. I can't remember what it's called right now. It's like a knight thing. I can't remember what it's called. It's a uh, and then and then a decimator got a decimator to build which I nearly put together on uh, Sunday actually and then I'd suggested that I was going to do something else and you said why don't you do a bit of work on your brass scorpion and then I got this out of the cupboard instead starting a new project good advice my dear good advice I'm rubbish at because I? I like starting new stuff all the time and you like to finish your projects before you move on to something else. Yes, I only have one thing being painted at once. But then I don't play any games or paint them for a, a reason. So there's no armies or anything like that. No. Red says, I was waiting for Lady Red to build her shed so I can get rid of her craft stuff out of my room. I can fill it with more minis. Um, it's, it's completely different in our house. Uh, Hardly anything is mine, and Nathan has a lot of stuff. But then Nathan has more hobbies than I do, so he needs more storage space. And I haven't sewn anything <laughs> for years, but I have more material than a material shop. <laughs> but when I look through my material cupboard in traditional style like I'm not like any of those. Yeah. It's never the right stuff. Oh I don't have wool. I can't I can't knit or crochet. Uh, I did try but I wasn't very good. because uh, I thought that, that would be better because then you can like you know sit on the sofa or whatever you don't have to be away from people. Uh, but I'm just not very good at it. I'm not very good at counting uh, as you all know uh, and remembering stitches and working with my hands moving in such ways so i'll leave all that malarkey to wicked do because she's good at that i've never been any good at those kind of things either knitting i've had a go at knitting We've gone too pale too fast. I've even got relaxing music for you to be painting to. It's there like is. going to sleep music. Uh, you, YouTube is being very naughty and every single video that we have 
has got some kind of copyright claim on it, despite the fact that we all use copyright free music. It's just being very, very silly. So for our Halloween stream, of which we uh, are going to have a quiz, I've had to find some music that a gentleman has said that I can use. So hopefully he then won't go, eh, it's mine. Uh, yeah. But it's very heavily synthesised, so I'm not really quite sure what it's going to sound like in the back of the stream. But can always turn it down slightly if it's too loud. <laughs> I'm putting all this work into this, and then the only time anybody's going to see it is when I pick this model up out of the cabinet. You'll know it's there. Yeah, that's true. This, this is a miniature that you've wanted for such a long time that yeah. you want to do a good job rather than rushing it. That's it. And just getting it ready for the table, and I think that's nice. I was going to say something about that. Oh, that's, that was what I was going to ask you all, well, while you're all here. Um, so we're going to do a quiz for the Halloween stream, which isn't until Halloween. <laughs> 31st of October. Uh, but do you want to have some kind of quiz stream beforehand so that we can have a practice or is nobody really bothered about doing a quiz type thing? Just just for fun, no prizes or anything like that. Just uh, just just for fun. This sounds awful. I don't know what to do to it. There's a Pokemon in chat. That'll probably be the last Pokemon of this stream. We've only got a couple of minutes and then we'll go raid Wicked D. Awesome. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I might have a game. I might have a game. I'm going to try and get these bases finished so I can actually say I've finished them. But, uh, but I might have, might have a go on the old Gartic phone. Depends, it depends what rounds they're doing because... Some of them I don't like. What don't you like? I don't like the one where you have to... Someone just draws three lines or something and then you have to Open make it, it into something. Yeah, I don't like that one. Why is that one? I don't know. It's just weird. I like the ones where you get to... Do the little... Um, do a, light, a statement or something, then you have to draw, do a picture of it, or when you get to do your own little animation thing, I quite like those ones. But then, I am only drawing it on the tiny screen on my phone with my sausage fingers. Yeah, well that's so. what happens with me, and then when it when it goes to bigger screen, and everyone can see how tiny my screen is, because uh, half of it's missing from compared to everybody else. Dan, Dan, you should come. Uh, we, we raid Wicked D stream in two minutes' time. Uh, you should come and because you you do animations and stuff, so you should be awesome yeah. at drawing. It's family friendly there, uh, but yeah, come and come and laugh at our really bad drawings. I think it's fine when you know you can't draw. It's a bit awkward when you think you can, and <laughs> you, and you can't. Kufant has been caught by John the Templar. Well done, well done John. John. <laughs> oh, I see. We said that together. Synchronised. Look at us. I dream Wicked Deer's fine. Well, you keep trying to kill me in the Pokemon game. She's just a big meanie. At least Hamish only ki kills Wyvern. Not, not you know, people that you know. Wyvern. Isn't Wyvern? Is that not what they're called? Dragon oh right, uh, so, no? yeah, no, you're right, you're right. I just didn't know the context, oh, but it's sorry. the Baldur's Gate you gave. So, uh, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, it's always awesome to have you here. We really do appreciate it. We go over to Wicked D now and we play Gartic Phone, which I'm sure that she would love you all to join in. Uh, we are back on Monday. Yep. No idea what he's painting, but I will let you all know. And in the meanwhile, we'll see you in Discord and uh, on social media. Thank you very much, everybody. You're awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. I will post some pictures of my progress in Discord later.